Welcome to Grammy Sousa's Storytime, coming to you from Albuquerque, New Mexico. I have a great story to read to you today. I hope you like it as much as I do. Hello there, all you landlubber mateys, you. Thank you for coming today. Today's story is about a boy and his dad at bedtime. Oh, oh, no, excuse me, excuse me. I mean, it's a story about a pirate and his captain. Do you know about pirates? In New Mexico, we don't have a lot of them, mostly because we don't have all that much water for their big ships to sail on. Pirates have their own language. I hope you can understand most of what they say in this story. I'm pretty sure most of you will at least understand the story's ending because it's something that I think has happened to almost all of us. So here we go. Today's story is Pirate's Lullaby Mutiny at bedtime. Mutiny means when you rebel, when you refuse something. That's a mutiny. Um, this book is written by Marcy Wessels, and the pictures, which are wonderful, were done by Tim Bowers. Okay, Pirate's Lullaby, Mutiny at Bedtime. Yo ho, ho ho, me lad, heave ho, it's time to go to bed, Papa Pirate told his first mate, not so sleepy Ned. But me mates are weighing anchor, sailing for the seven seas. Can't I play a bit longer? Ten more minutes, please? Shake a leg, me hearty. For it's nearly half past eight. Pillaging and plundering are gonna have to wait. Let's swab the deck, stow the gear, and lock the treasure chest. Then we'll batten down the hatches and get a bit of rest. That's the pirate talk. I put away me spyglass me compass, and me sword. But where is Captain Teddy? Has he fallen overboard? Papa searched from fore to aft and all along the bay until he almost tripped upon the furry Stowaway. You've got to find the teddy bear, right? Here you go now, laddie. I have rescued your best mate. Let's head below and settle down. It's getting very late. Ned shinnied up the mainmast, grinning ear to ear. Walk the plank to catch me, cried the little mutineer. Oh, laughed Papa Pirate. I'm afraid you've met your match. Gotcha, little rascal. Down you go into the hatch. It's a mutiny, I think, there. Climb into your bunk now, lad. See the spot marked X? Lie down and you'll dream of the adventures we'll have next. But Papa, I'm so thirsty. Can I have a drop to drink? Aye, aye, lad. Then I'll tuck you in to catch your 40 winks. Papa, I'm not 
sleepy. Will you spin a yarn or two? Of Captain Jack the Buccaneer and his marauding crew? Papa Pirate dimmed the lamp and fetched a comfy rocker to tell the story of Jack's escape from Davy Jones's locker. Davy Jones's locker is uh, the deep, dark blue sea, really. Avast, ye lad, your mutiny must now come to an end. Tomorrow there'll be time for us to play and to pretend. You've got your mate, you've had a drink. You've, you'll hear a bedtime tale. You must be getting sleepy. Ain't the wind out of your sail? Does it look like the wind is out of his sail? Are you sleepy? Hmm. But Papa, it's so dark and I'm marooned here all alone. Scoot over, lad. I'll lie down too. You won't be on your own. Papa, sing me a shanty of oceans vast and deep. A shanty is a sea song or sailor's song. But all Ned heard were Papa's snores because he was fast asleep. I bet that happened to you sometime when somebody was reading you a story. Happened to me a lot. Uh, I hope you guys have lots of good stories today. Thanks for listening. And uh, avast, away, ye pirates, ye. Bye. Thank you.